So undone is the new done. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get this sexy beachy look with four products. Okay, so you guys know I love the undone done look. I just recently went to Cabo, we did a whole vlog, we did a whole shoot, and we got so many comments back on our stories and our Instagram and all of our social on how do I get that undone done beachy look. It's super, super easy. The one thing that I love about these beachy waves, it takes literally about 10 to 12 minutes. I just went away with my children for 10 days. I did it all by myself. I had no time. I mean, I literally like shortened it down to like eight minutes because I like kind of really towel dry my hair. And I think that's the first tip. Before you start to blow dry, get all the moisture out of the hair. So even when you're starting, start scrunching. So you can see I'm already starting for that look. The first thing I use is from Orlando Pizza. It's called the Great Inflate. Um, it's a styling foam. For me, it gives it a lot of volume. People laugh, but I'm old school mousse. It just works. I have a little um, bit of fine hair, so it works. Look, I shake a little bit. I don't add a lot. I literally add like this much. Put it in both hands and I start scrunching. And again, the key is to have it halfway dry. Don't have it really, really wet because it's gonna only cost a lot more time and it's also going to add more heat when you're blow drying it. Okay. Okay, next, hair dryer. Hot tools, I love this. Um, it's great, it's powerful. It gets it done in like two minutes. Okay, you guys ready? You guys can't tell, but it has really good volume. It's still pretty fine, but it's still kind of got that beachy kind of undone look, and I haven't even done any curl to it. So the next step is the dry shampoo. We love Orbe Gold Lust dry shampoo. It is tried and true, and it works so well. So this is the prep before you're gonna curl. I'm quite generous, so I get up underneath it, and this really is what really gives the grit to it. Bigger, better, baby. Okay. The higher the hair, the closer to God. Okay. Now, see, it's... Also, you guys, get in with your hair. You know, like, feel it. Kind of, like, get into it, because that's what makes it, gives it that kind of sexy look. Okay. So now that you've prepped with your dry shampoo, you're going to use two of my favorite, and I know I talk about them a lot, I use one inch Enzo Milano. It doesn't matter if you use the Beach Waver. I love this barrel. I really think um, it's really easy to use. So as I've said before, you always start going back. So I'm just gonna piece it, and I'm gonna wrap it around always going back, okay? So again, it's always going back. I'm gonna pick up a piece in between. I'm gonna leave some straight, okay? And then I'm gonna take another piece over here. And I'm gonna start with this one again, leaving a little bit undone. Your front part, again, always going back. Wrap it around. I, on this one, curl this part at the front. Okay, so see it goes, it's all going back. And see, I constantly, because I have really pretty bad breakage right there, I always start to lead this down. You can, again, I've showed you guys put a little piece of paper and a little clip to keep it down, but today we're gonna skip that part. Okay, so you've kind of got, now I want you to just finger through your hair. So you see, and then I'm gonna start to take a couple of pieces, not too many, underneath. So you can see I'm going right underneath. And this is the one I'm gonna do quite tight. So again, I'm gonna get it really far up there, and I'm gonna really wrap this one, and this one's gonna be tight. So I'm gonna leave that down. So see, that's the quite tight, okay? Okay, so then, just to check it, I'm gonna kinda of just run my brush through it and just see. So see, I haven't even used any hairspray, any just that alone gives a little bit up, and so you can go back through. So I'm gonna do another curl right here. 
And you alternate, curl tight, curl soft, curl tight, curl soft. And when I mean soft, means just barely do it. And see how this underneath is a little just natural? That's also from just prepping it properly and scrunching it. So you have the different curls, so they all don't look the same. I think that's the really the key to the undone done. It's that it looks done, but it's not. It's like you've got a little bit of everything going on. It's like you spent the day at the beach, but then you've added just a little bit of polish to it. Okay, just on the ends, I'm gonna use a straightening iron and I'm just gonna really straighten the ends to just kind of give it that, and again, not too long. So my next favorite product is the Wave Spray from Way. Yes, Jen Atkin. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a pro tip. Instead of spraying it directly on the hair, yes, dry hair, this is the way we're doing it. We're gonna show you how to spray it on your hands and then go through your, your hair. You have much more control over the spray. I like this. That, see? And you just scrunch it. And it just gives it, it just sets it. Oh, I'm sorry, it's so good. Last but not least, you can use Orbe. Um, any type of finishing cream, okay? So I can't stand, and I go in on my hands, and I just take a little bit, and I hit this so it doesn't, it kind of helps basically with the little bit of breakage that I have, give a little bit of shine at the root, and I just go on the very ends. So you guys, I love this look, it's super easy. I think you're gonna find it, you know, four products, that's all you need, a couple of great tools, and you can get this look. Don't overthink it, that's my biggest, biggest tip. My second and last biggest tip is really use your hands, get in there, get gritty, get sexy. I love you guys, I hope you liked this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, comment below, let me know some of your favorite products um, for the perfect beachy wave look. Next up, my videos of the MVPs, of the VIPs, all right. We're going there. We're talking about hyperpigmentation. We're talking about melasma. I struggled with it on and off for close to five and a half years. And I'm gonna tell you the best tips and tricks and products that you have to get, you have to use, and they will really make a difference. Love you guys.